Welcome to STEM News. Today we are going to learn a bit about the upcoming Bison Best Robotics Competition and the STEM Center Robotics Team. Here to tell us about Bison Best is the coach of the STEM Robotics Team, Mrs. Erickson. STEM is all about science, technology, engineering, mathematics. So um, when we learned about what the Bison Best program was, to me that encapsulates everything. And it allows students to really get the whole problem, the strategy, and have a time constraint with six weeks. You can't go over it like homework. I think the students are learning how to work as a team. Um, I think that they are understanding that the business world is, has constraints to it. You can't always do what you want, but you do have some flexibility. Um, I also think that you guys are definitely getting the engineering process out of it, and that sometimes things are going to be hard, but it can still be fun at the same time. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Erickson. Now let's find out what the West Fargo STEM program is all about. Here to fill us in is Isaiah with the principal of STEM, Mrs. Joyce. Thank you, Keegan. Mrs. Joyce, can you please tell me all about the STEM program? The STEM program in West Fargo started last year and it was a result of overcrowding at the middle school, um, which is a large middle school, and so we saw it as an opportunity to move some students out and to start something new and innovative. And we also work with teachers to um, move towards project and problem-based learning and real-life application, collaborative problem-solving skills. So now we're in our second year and it's uh, going very well. Thank you, Mr. Joyce. Back to you in the studio, Keegan. Nice job, Isaiah. Now that we know a bit about the Bison Best competition and the West Fargo STEM program, let's learn about the team. We take you to the STEM Center with correspondent Tessa. Thank you, Olivia. The Bison Best team here at STEM is made up of six 7th and 8th graders from STEM and two other local schools, Discovery and Cheney Middle School. Every team member has their own jobs within our nine groups consisting of engineering notebook, research paper, fabrication, marketing presentation, team display, and website. The team has taken part in several public relations events around the community to heighten awareness of just what Buys and Best is all about. Outside of practice time, the team took a team building trip to Camp Cormorant. That's it from the STEM Center. Now back to you in the studio. That was great, Tessa. Where do I sign up? That sure does look like fun, but what about the robot? Glad you asked, Keegan. Here to update us about the robot's progress is Isaiah. Thank you. We're with the leader of fabrication, Andrew. So, Andrew, how are you coming with the robot? Pretty well, pretty well. We're almost done. That's cool. What exactly has to be on your robot? Um, it has to have an arm to pick up cones and eggs. Mm -hmm. It has to have a trailer to collect um, and hold golf balls. So, what's been the most complicated part of the robot? Um, the arm, getting it to move. Uh, we've had problems with the slack with the belt that moves the arm up and down. Mm -hmm. Andrew, are you confident in your robot's abilities? So far, so far. After them all day, maybe not, but so far. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Back to you, Keegan Olivia. Now let's check into the Weather Center with Weather Wizard, Caitlin. Hey everybody, let's take a quick check of the weather rack. Right now it's warm and dry. So I'm happy to report it's sunny outside. Now let's get back to the studio. I'm going to forget what just happened. Let's get back to the Bison Best team and the West Fargo STEM Center. Here to bring us up to speed on what the marketing teams have been up to is reporter Tessa. We're here with Stephanie from the Table Display Group and are now standing in this year's Table Display. What is the purpose of Table Display? We have to explain to the judges and show the judges that we were the main people that worked on Buys and Best this year. We wanted it to look like a manufacturing plant, so we chose the brick and the gears to make it look like a manufacturing plant. Thanks, Stephanie. It's looking great. Now back to you at the studio. Wow, this Buys and Best program they have going on at STEM is really great. I can hardly wait for game day. If you would like to learn more about Best Robotics Team at the STEM Center, check us out on our website, www.wfstemrobotics.org. Thank you, and good night.